I make over a hundred thousand dollars per month with my clothing brand partly because I have a website that converts like crazy and still there are people who just simply don't create the best possible website for their clothing brand or they just simply do not know how to so today I'm gonna reveal my entire Shopify store breakdown how to create a website and just everything I know that relates to this that helped me build a hundred thousand dollar per month brand so let's go ahead and get started all right guys as you guys can see we are on a brand new Shopify this is for my new brand that I'm starting up it's a denim brand and I pretty much haven't done anything yet. So we just got the name and logo for the brand. So now it's time to do the Shopify setup. Now, what you're going to do first is click the first link in the description to get a Shopify trial for $1 for three months. So you're going to save money on the Shopify right away. You don't have to pay money. Pretty much only paying a dollar. Um, and once you sign up for that, it'll take you to a screen like here. All right, guys. So the first thing right here is you're going to have your store details and your billing address. Just go ahead and quickly fill those out. They're pretty self-explanatory. Coming down to the store defaults, just go ahead and put your unit system, which is the imperial system if you are in the US, metric system if you are in Europe. Time zone, I'm on the Eastern coast, so I put EST. And then the rest of this stuff, you do not have to touch for general. Now we go to the plan section. You guys are on the $1 a month trial using my link down below. And you can only get this $1 a month trial if you use the link down below. If you try to do it through Shopify normally, it'll be $40 a month. And this will give you the $1 trial. Next is billing. All you have to do for this is just set up your debit card. There's nothing too difficult about this for users and permissions. This is where you can add your business partners or staff members. If you have any, you'll just make sure to add them on the staff area right here. All right, now let's get into payments because this is how you're going to accept credit cards on your Shopify. So here you're just gonna have to submit information about yourself, your ID and etc. So you'd put your first name, last name, date of birth, SSN, email, and all these things below and once you submit all that you will have shopify payments on your website now this allows you to collect credit card information so you can actually accept payments now i'm not going to do that on this video because i don't want to leak my ssn of course now that we go down to the checkout station everything else should be pretty much just standard right here you don't have to change anything everything for the most part is already done here customer accounts you don't have to worry about that now shipping and delivery you're going to want to go ahead and click on this general profile right here this is how you set up your shipping. So here you're going to put where you're fulfilling all the orders from. This will be your fulfillment address right here. So that would probably be your house to start off with. Now for shipping zones, we're going to go over to the domestic and then add a rate. So you'd click on add rate and you could do standard custom, whatever you guys want to do. If you have a custom shipping rate, you want to do for me, I like to use the carrier rates. So I'll I quickly show you how to do that. So you'd click on add rate and then instead of using a flat rate, you would use the carrier rate. Now, for most of you guys, you're going to either be shipping USPS or UPS. For USPS, I like to do priority mail and ground advantage as the options, and that's it. Handling fee, you would only put this if you're using a 3PL, which majority of you guys are not. So you would just click done after that. And these are the only two services I would recommend you use. Now, if we come down to international, it's going to just be standard on DHL and USPS. You don't have to change that. So now let's go down to taxes and duties for sales tax. You don't have to touch this right now as you aren't making any money. But once you do start getting sales tax, you definitely do want to get an accountant locations. You don't have to touch this. It should be your address markets. You want to activate international so you could start shipping international as well. Apps and sales channel. This is where you're going to install all the apps for your Shopify store. And then domains. This is how you actually get the username for your website, right? So mine is Kari.LA. That's what I want it to be. And now for the domain, all you have to do is go on a website called GoDaddy.com. Once you're on GoDaddy, you're going to go ahead and type the name you want. Let's say you want a clothing brand guy.com, whatever, something like that. So if you want this right here, you would just find the username that you want. Um, most of the dot com ones are going to be kind of taken. So you could just use something like dot co or dot store and then you would just buy it and you would have access to it. Now, the way to connect it is you would just go to connect existing domain, put the domain that you just bought. And then click on next and then it will just connect to your GoDaddy account. Once it's connected to your GoDaddy account, everything else should be automated by there for the most part. GoDaddy will do all the integrations and now your brand name will be popping up in the domain up top. Now, everything else you don't really have to touch at all except policies. Now, policies, you want to go ahead and create your policies because this is kind of the stuff that you need. So for me, I like to just use the template that Shopify gives you because it pretty much has everything already written out for you. And then you could just change the stuff that you do guys don't want. So if you don't want to have a 30 day return policy, you want to have like a 14 day return policy, then you can do that here. Just make sure to edit anything that isn't edited. Same with terms of service. You could do all that here and just make sure you put all your information where you need to. 
now once you set up all your policies which is really easy right you're just inserting the templates from shopify that's all you have to do for this part of the shopify store everything else is pretty much already set and ready to go now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a product listing first because this will help us with the actual website now if you don't have your product yet it's okay you guys don't have to do this part but i'm just doing this now because it'll help us with our website a little bit you know visually seeing it easier so here you would just put your product for me i'm just gonna put my reflective denims that we're coming out with so it'll be kari reflective denim here you'd put the product description so for example we'll put like uh, 300 gsm 16 ounce denim whatever the description is obviously you'd make this a lot neater than what i'm doing right now i'm just showing for example and then you just put an image this is going to be my placeholder image for now until i get an actual photo shoot done now you would put the price you're going to sell it for i'm going to sell mine for 120 don't think that's tax i think that's actually a good price because i know some people are going to say some things cost per item you'd put how much it costs so i haven't got my bulk pricing announced yet to me so i'm just going to put for now um i'm going to assume it's going to be like somewhere in the 20s in the cost so we'll make about a hundred dollars profit per order that's pretty solid now continue selling when out of stock you're only going to do this if you're going to do the pre-order method if you're not doing the pre-order method you would just keep this like this me personally i'm not doing pre-order method when it comes down to weight you would just put the weight of the product so i'll put a pound for now because i don't actually know variance we would do the color and size whatever you if you have multiple colors you'd put the color here and in size yeah so here for the size you put 29 30 32 34 36 38 those are the sizes i'm offering for you guys i'm assuming it's going to be more like excess small large medium excel whatever you'll put that there now all this other stuff it doesn't really matter you guys don't need to you could just keep this default or just get rid of it because it might not match whatever your stuff is and there you guys go we have a product listed ready to go so we can put it on our website that we're about to create and if you have the inventory you would just go to inventory on it and then put the stock inside of it how much you have of each size and etc so yeah that's how you make the product listing all right guys now it's actually time to start customizing the website right so we'll come down here and we'll pick a theme now if you are trying to use a free theme i would recommend you use refresh because that's one of the best ones that are the free ones um it's the one i use to get up to three hundred thousand dollars in sales um for the free one but if you do have a little bit of money to spend the paid themes are always going to be the best so for me i'm not going to buy the theme i'm just going to customize a paid theme because i do plan on using this website for myself because i am going to start a little bit more advanced i have money to play with to start so but it's all the same exact process just follow along it's all plug and play you just click to edit stuff it's all very simple to understand so the first thing we're going to do before we even start anything um, is once we start to customize we're going to come over to the theme settings on the left here and we're going to go all the way down to favicon now what the favicon does is basically you guys see the shopify logo beside my name up here the shopify you want the favicon to be your logo um on your website now it won't be like that for the shopify thing because we're on shopify's website but when they go to your website you want it to be your logo so we're going to go ahead and add our logo right here and make sure it's a png and there we go we finally have a favicon it's very simple and after that you could just do all the basic stuff here in the theme settings you'd put all your social media links right here color scheme if you want a certain color scheme and all the basic stuff over here so now let's start editing the sections because a lot of this stuff we do not need but some of it we do need so right here you're gonna have here something called the hero shot right and this is gonna be the main image on the home page and what this does is it's basically just gonna give them the information of anything you want it to be right so for me I like to use this to let them know if we're running a sale or let them know if something just dropped um, so for right here we're gonna go ahead and edit this now the way we edit this is we just come over to slide heading right here or uh, it'll be maybe a little different for you guys but it should be something like this and we're going to go ahead and click on image on the right side and that's where we're going to deploy an image so right here i don't have any photo shoot images just yet of my product so this is just going to be a placeholder image for me but for you guys you guys would add your image of your product here now over here we would have the effects and stuff if you want a certain effect like sliding effect a fade effect um for this i wouldn't touch any of this stuff i would just keep it default for now and you could play around with it a little bit later because right now we just want to get the the website all set up and ready to go now usually on this you guys would just click on the text area and start messing with the text that you want so right here we're gonna put um kari ref denim just something like that or actually i might just get rid of it altogether. i don't see a point for the subheading now for the heading itself i want to put kari reflective jeans let them know that the reflective jeans are the new product we're about to drop and then the text below that will be just something like out now 
and eh, i'm not really liking how that looks either i'll probably just get rid of that as well to be honest and just keep the heading now for the button label i'm just gonna get rid of one button and just keep it to have it a second button and for the button label i'll just be like shop now and then we would link it to the product so you click on products and then do the product listing that you created and now it'll link to the product so when they click shop now it'll take them boom straight to the product page now don't mind the image quality like i said these are all just placeholder images so now we have our hero shot done and you could change the aspect ratio of it i kind of want this to be a full screen hero shot and i'm going to delete all of this right here because this stuff doesn't matter i think the full screen isn't the best actually you might go 21 by 9 or 16 by 9. yeah i think 21 by 9 actually is the best for my image uh honestly but you guys see the the common trend here it's just all about you know clicking and testing different sizes and stuff like that so now this is the first step of the website having your hero shot done now below that, if you're dropping a new collection, you could put collection. So mine would be the reflective, reflective denim collection. So that would be the name. And then here you would add the collection. So you would select the products that you wanted. So you would just put everything that's in the collection. Right, me, for me, it's the reflective denim. Um, and you would put that right there. Now for heading below this, I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't need it. I'm also gonna get rid of this, I don't need it this i don't need it this i don't need it and just come all the way down basically down to this part because we need the footer of course now for the most part this is how i like to keep my home pages even if you guys look at watch your steps homepage. now even if you guys look at my main brand watch your steps homepage, right i just have a big hero shot right here for me i'm doing a deal right now so i'm gonna let people know about the deal because i haven't dropped anything so i'm just running a deal and then right below that i like to have my best sellers new arrivals and etc but you guys are probably only gonna have one product to start so you just have your your one product here but if you have multiple you could put best sellers and new arrivals down here and that's how simple the home page should be it should not be any more difficult than that very very simple and not too much that's you know you have to do you guys don't have to overthink and think you have to put so much effort into it just keep it very simple and clean so now we're going to click save that's our homepage for now. Everything else looks pretty much the standard. We're gonna get rid of a couple things outside of the theme builder. But now let's go ahead and start working on the actual product page because this is what actually matters. So for product page, I like to edit this on mobile mainly because desktop, it doesn't really matter. You wanna see how this looks on mobile. So right here, this is the product page is where they're gonna go purchase the product. You guys see we have our product photos here and et cetera. Um, and the few things that I will change is this right here. So for this sum title for me, on the product page, I like to have a few key things, right? So if we look at Watch Your Steps product page right here, it's a few key things on the product page that we like. So for me, I wanna go ahead and put shipping information, okay? Because we need people to know how long it's gonna take to ship. So shipping information, we're gonna go ahead and start putting, you know, our shipping info. So two to five day. I'm actually just gonna copy it from Watch Your Steps. So whatever my shipping info is here. And you guys can copy it as well from my main website. Yep, so we're gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna get rid of this. So now we have our shipping information, which is perfect. So now people will know our shipping info because that's very important that people know your shipping info and those few questions that they need to know before purchasing. So we have our product description here. That'll let people know, okay, what is the description of the product? What is it featuring, et cetera? We have our shipping info and we definitely do wanna have another block. So we'll add another about us pop block right here and then this block will be washing instructions so we'll come down over to washing instructions right here um and just, i'm just going to copy watch your steps you guys can copy it as well um you'd put your washing instructions there basically on your product page like i said you have to make sure you answer all the questions that people have that's what makes a good product page Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and delete all the stuff that doesn't matter. This is the footer, so it actually does matter right here. Um, but for the footer, we definitely wanna change it up. I don't need all these quick links. I would just put the logo right here, just so people can see the logo. And then for dark mode, they need a white logo, but we do not have that. And here it's gonna have an email subscribe form, which is really, really good for you. I would just be like, sign up here. And that's pretty much it for the product page for now. Now the other stuff, you do need to start adding apps in order to, to really get in depth with your website. And I'm not going to go over apps in this video just because it's a whole nother video in itself. It's going to take a long time to get with apps, 
But for the actual website editing and etc., this is very simple and pretty much what it is to build a converting site on the product page. Let's go ahead and look at it on desktop and you see it looks a lot better this way as well because now you got rid of all the fluff and now you just have the valuable information that matters. The reason why my websites and my product pages look very simple because I only put the stuff that matters, okay? Stuff that doesn't matter doesn't need to be up there. If you go to Watch Your Steps product page, I just have reviews and this is an app that you guys would add to put reviews. I would have another app right here and then all this stuff is just the stuff that matters, social proof. So one thing you guys can add on your product page now that we're looking at it is probably a, a image, a bunch of images by chance. So we'd have to find an image slider or anything that could just show off images. So yeah, you could do image, you could do image with text and here you would put an image of your, you know, person wearing it, a customer wearing it and etc. Obviously each theme is going to have different ways you could do it, but I would just put images of the customer down below as well, just so you're able to, you know, have more social proof on your website. So I'll actually do that as well. Um, doing this right here. Obviously these are just placeholders, but you want to have a bunch of product images of customers wearing your product. So yeah, you can have multiple images right here of product being worn and then you can change the, the heading to customers. Um, and then get rid of the sun badge and some description text. And then the button label would be like, Shh. actually, I wouldn't even keep a button label. I would get rid of the button period um, for something like that. And you would have your customers here and boom, that's actually a very solid product page that gets to the point and isn't, you know, too extra and too, too crazy. It's very simple and it gets to the point. So yeah, homepage, that's the homepage layout. We're going to do something very simple like that. Let me get rid of this button actually. And then the product page as well. Very simple. It gets to the point. I'm not trying to be extra. I just want people to, to see the product and buy the product. So coming back to theme settings, you make sure you just go through all these as well. Um, with your social media and all that and then apps and stuff is where you're gonna start installing apps so we'll make a whole nother video on the apps just let me know if you guys want that um some of the best apps to have and what are the apps i use and etc um here we actually oh one more thing i forgot to say about the home page we need to change our header right here so let's go put our logo right here put the full logo um and there we go now we have our logo at the top as well so it's a few more things as well that i do want to change and i'm going to show you guys that are outside of the theme builder but when it comes to the theme builder stuff, this is pretty much it. It's very, very simple. Um, and we built a website just like that. Um, that's going to be converting and ready to go because we put all the important information. Now, if you guys do want to go a little bit more in depth on what makes a more converting website, then just go ahead and copy my website from watch your step with the reviews. I mean, it's pretty much the same exact thing. This one just has reviews and the product slider looks a lot, a little bit cleaner because I coded this in. Um, but I can make more in depth video about that. All right, now that we have done that and actually made the website, we need to change a couple things. So we're gonna come to navigation right here and we're gonna go to main menu. And I like I don't like the word catalog. I like to just do the word products. Um, it just makes a lot more sense to me. So I would change that to products. And here's where you could change your menu items, right? So if you come over to the menu, you guys see the top stuff right here, shop all, best sellers, zip ups, bottoms, etc. You can add all that stuff here in the navigation. So if you wanna have your best sellers, you could write best sellers. And then you would just link your best sellers collection right here or, or products in general, just link all your best seller products and you would put that right there. So let's just do this for example, just for now. Um, and that's how it would look, it would pop up now on the top up here. So that's how you do the collections and stuff like that up there. Everything else in the Shopify section is very simple. You have discounts right here where you can create discount codes for people marketing. I wouldn't really touch too much because this is all Shopify marketing and we don't need that. Analytics is where you can see all your numbers for your store. Finance is where you can see all your, you know, payouts and stuff like that when you get paid out. And then everything else for the most part is just very, very, very simple. The whole point of this video is to show you guys that Shopify is not very hard to work with. A lot of you guys just get scared when you first log into it. But you guys see we built a website in literally less than like 10, 15 minutes. Um, and it's a converting website because it's very simple, very clean, and it's very, you know, it's just plug and play, just click, drag, click, drag, and editing just the stuff right there. So that's what I would say for the website. Now, if you guys don't want to go through all this headache of setting up your store and stuff like that, inside of my program, Brand Discovery, we actually do have converting websites pre-made, already done for you, set up. Now, if you want to get access to that, it will be the link in the description explaining how I can help you scale your brand or grow your brand. 
If you guys do also want a free training on how to scale a brand to 10K a month in 90 days or less, click that link down below. It's a free video as well. And yeah, that's how you build and set up your Shopify and build a converting website off the rip. If you guys did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate a like. It would help me get this video out to more people. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.